You know what? I like cats. Do you? Yeah. You just you said that in this video. To, you don't even have to use tools. That's the Or something different. Yeah, thanks. Welcome, Appreciate welcome it. back to the channel. We got an inoperative, I think about a 2006 here. About to get killed by a 250, it looks like. How D6R Series 3 that does not run. It only has like 800 hours on it. Sure. 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 Out of the army. So this is the first time I've seen it. We're gonna be in for a treat. <laughs> I got 4% battery. 4%? Yep. Pretty good with this pushing stuff in, especially since our owner loves Fords. Ain't that right, Bob? What is it? Since our owner loves Fords, we're pretty good at this pushing crap in, pushing aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Jay drives Fords too. We can't help everybody. Oh boy, that chain makes me nervous. 
Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let's get that up out there. That, that ain't gonna be good. One little hook of the old chain to the track and we got a real party foul. Hurry up, Bob. I got 3%. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You know what we're doing. Gonna be losing connection any second. You got on buttons? Yep. Hey, you! Did you take a nap? They're back! What? They took a little nap. They got a little too low, got tired. But they're back, so we're here. You didn't take them to the bathroom, did you? No, I took them to the battery charger. Oh, was it that? Yeah. That's what I was hollering at you. I said, you, you better hurry up. You got 3%, bub. Did you hit that button to charge them up? Where? This right here. No, I don't hit those buttons. That charges the That's battery up. magic. You didn't need to do that. Well, I did because it was a zero. <laughs> this, this little, little stick right Somebody here. Somebody should care about those batteries more. This little stick is a battery. These people don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. I'm thinking about unhooking the blade and putting this down and see what we got. Okay. <laughs> You what? Nothing. It's got clean oil in it. That's not a good sign. <laughs> so I bought this dozer as an in-op. Does not run. I tried to start it. We've got air filters hanging out. Hey, you know what my favorite part is? What's right that? Here on the dash. We got a bottle of Cosby sauce. Cosby sauce. When in doubt. This all looks foreign to us. We don't work on caterpillars. Damn, yeah. Right. So this is a, uh, I think I said this earlier, but it's like a 2006 D6R Series 3. It was the XUS Army. I bought it off the government. I do know they put batteries there and put power to it, showing like 800 hours, which look to be true. So this is the same error and machine as the John Deere 850J. So very seldom I get to the uh, same type of machines from different brands in the shop at the same time. So that's one we got in. Uh, it's only got like three or 400 hours on it. I have no idea, but it doesn't even have a motor in it. That's a whole nother video, but we're gonna mess with this one first because it's somewhat complete. What do you think? We're gonna give it a good looking over here and seeing what's going on with it. We have no idea. So it rolls freely. Very I don't think it should roll very freely either. Very Is there like any final drive shafts laying in there? Or? No. No? It's kind of concerning. I don't look like the bolts have been off. From my experience, they shouldn't roll unless somebody's done something, so. Anyway, we're gonna give this thing a looking over see what we got going on because who knows what they have done for sure and why it got parked why it doesn't run i think somewhere i read the motor may be locked up i'm not sure so have to get in there and see these things sure aren't uh 
Friendly to work on, Kevin. No batteries? Got military batteries? Yeah. This is EFF powers up. Okay, is the disconnect on out there? Uh, I need a key. Oh, a meow meow key? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I got a key on here and a key there. Taking a peek inside this thing, it uh, does not have very many hours on it. You can tell that from the seat and the armrest. And... Kevin's trying to get a disconnect key in it. I highly doubt that it's just going to start. Did you get it? <laughs> Why's that battery cable look like they've jacked it all up? I mean, it definitely looks like it's from. That battery's froze, it's swelled up. Yeah. Batteries from January 2020. It's over four years old. Bubba, that, that thing's probably got the COVID. The COVID. That's the problem with it. <laughs> it's a COVID dozer. <laughs> That's what always makes your batteries work best when you keep them nice and loose. That way nice you and loose. never what? know when you want to just take them off. <sighs> There's paint underneath the terminals. Hey, Bob. Gotta do what you gotta do. It's not gonna work. Look, wiggle. Give that one a wiggle. This one's solid. Look yeah, at it. Give her a wiggle. Oh. You know what? I like cats. Do you? Yeah. You just you said that in this have, video. You don't even have to use tools. Let's see what you say here in a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know exactly what I'm going to say. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to get some batteries and start from square one here and see what's going on. We thought we was going to get lucky at the end of the day. No. Hey, but you know what? We got a quarter can of DG Auto starting fluid. Those are cracking a can. That's Dollar General, bub. Is that Dollar That's General? When you know you've been really heading down the wrong roads in life. Good Lutzville, Tennessee. Ain't even gonna go to the hardware store. I'm thinking Tennessee. they got it running and they didn't need it all, right? Yeah, that's exactly what It's the bad thing about these engines, they're all electronically controlled, so. Alright, I'm gonna get out of this hot box and help my friend Kevin. Alright, Mr. Kevin's got a new end on the battery cable. I've got a new disconnect switch per his parts room requirements he says so that one's stuck from sitting i'm gonna go order some fuel filters tank is dry not good i'm gonna order oil filter we'll probably cut that one open uh, i did just put a pipe wrench on the fan i did get the engine to turn a little bit so that is a plus i guess it ain't stuck right there but the fuel tank it's not rusty, but it looks like it may have had water in it. So I see water staining inside this lip right here. So we left the cap open, sucked water up in there. Who knows? This is like Sherlock Holmes here, right? Yeah. Holmes and Watson. What's that movie? What's them guys? You know what I'm talking about? The guys from the movie that. Uh, Shake and, shake and bake into you guys. Oh, Talladega Nights? Yeah, but they had a movie, Sherlock and uh, Holmes or something. I don't know. I was thinking more like you guys, Norman Hardy. You guys know what we're talking about. Drop it down in the comments. I know in my head. I can picture it. Will Ferrell and that other guy was in a Sherlock and Holmes movie. Holmes and Watson. You got. You need to go watch it tonight. It's funny. What are you doing TV, bud? Oh, it's on YouTube. Just watch it on my phone. On your little Android if I run down in two seconds. I don't even think it's charged. Alright, we'll be back in the morning. Alright, back at it again here this morning. Um, Kevin's working on a disconnect switch and batteries. I got to doing some reading on the old computer last night because I'm not real up on these um, newer style cats. But uh, this has that C9, which is an old 3126, so it has a Huey fuel injection system in it. If you guys don't know what that means, I think it's hydraulic electronically controlled injectors. It's kind of like the old power strokes they use hydraulic pressure to or engine oil hydraulic pressure to bump the fuel pressure up so um been doing a little looking here this tank's got a little bit of rusty residue in it i'm looking around here you got to keep your eyes peeled in these things we've got a zip tie around here and i can see in that zip tie there's a piece of thin plastic so somebody's probably robbed a fuel cap off this dozer at some point of course it's probably rained in there and they seen that and then they put the zip tie with the plastic uh uh, 
over top of that and that's probably disintegrated. Got more water in it. You guys can see that plastic right there. So I'm just filling the tank, that's good. Probably rain in there. And we've got a brand new looking fuel cap. So that tells me this thing's been sitting with the uh, tank open to the element. So it is completely empty right now. It's got a little bit of rust staining in it. Nothing's gonna hurt it, but I don't have Randy bring his pressure washer up here. We're gonna throw uh, 200 degree water in there, kind of boil that thing all out, get it flushed out and uh, cleaned out. And we're gonna start from scratch. I got new filters coming from Napa. I think we're gonna take the engine oil filter off too and cut it open and make sure that uh, nothing's going on with that. So I probably should do that next before we get too carried away here. So I've seen these things from the military get drained of fluids. People try to jump in and start them and all that good stuff. So I think I better cut the engine oil filter open first. Just start this party the right way. <laughs> hey, Bob, I found an oil filter. It's you right there. Turn yeah. About 30 seconds sooner. <laughs> Don't worry, you just take all no, them wait, side shields off. And... Yeah, well, who bought it? I know. But it's the best. Yeah, well. This just look not, how just look how easy you can you can get to that filter. See? So me and Kevin can take a motor out of 850 in 45 minutes, right? And it's been 45 minutes to take two side shields off this thing. This is what's so stupid. <clears throat> hey, the good news is you can see the front half of the engine from here. Yeah. Well, it took us an hour to get to it. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this camera off. Yeah, get, yeah. it's not gonna be a family channel anymore. Two hours later. Oh. What was that? It's just dirt. No little dead mice or nothing. Yeah, I think it's just, just paint. Dirt from paint falling off of. All right. I think you're gonna go start working on cutting that open. I'm still trying to find the return fuel line, so I want to cap it off so we don't uh, run water back into the head on this thing. So I find that, and Randy's gonna start washing the tank. Let the fun begin. Come here. Give it to me. Did you go hungry when you was a little boy? I did. Couldn't open up a soup can? <laughs> Just gnaw through the side. Gnaw <laughs> through the metal can. All right, we'll be back after these messages. <clears throat> so close, too. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> Smashed a canister, didn't you? No. I'm liking what I see so far. Yeah, I don't see anything. Good. Not yet. Well, I'm not gonna cut that apart anymore. There goes Randy washing in my tank. <laughs> I said, there goes Randy washing my tank out. <laughs> no sparklies, no chunks. No. Oh, we're on the right track. Fired up, Bob. We just need Napa to bring our filter. Water-based. Water-based. I wonder how many comments I'm getting. If you guys have a better way to clean a fuel tank out, Drop it down below in the comments. Do you have a better way? Sell it. Sell it. It's the best way to clean caterpillar. Randy, things. he'll probably spend two or three hours filling that thing up, hot water, letting it run back down, get all that stuff loosened up in there. It's really not that bad. I can see the bottom, but there's like a couple spots where water's set and the rest of it, so. All right. Well, while Randy's uh, getting my tank nice and hot, that thing's hot. We're gonna see why this thing rolls. It should not roll. These things have uh, spring applied brakes when they're not running. There is a way to pump them off with 
crusher, but you got to take the seat out and stuff. And I'm pretty sure they've not done that. So I'm guessing we're missing a part in here. You guys want to take bets? I would bet on a sure thing. I bet we're missing a sun gear. Let me get out my knife because I know you don't have yours. Do you have a knife on you today? Oh, looky there. There's nothing in there. What's this light doing? Not working. There it goes. Boys, we're missing the shaft. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. You know what's so weird? I've never seen these shafts laying around this tractor. Huh. Huh. I bet they're laying in some army base somewhere. So if you work on the army base and you see this shaft. Call yeah. us. It's gotta be about this long. Have a gear about this big. Probably cost a thousand bucks, but we'll give you half that. <laughs> no, uh, it'll be in a trash can somewhere. And it's probably turned into a Honda Civic somewhere. Turned into a Ford. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna go look for one of those. I'm not gonna buy any yet till we see if it runs. Huh. But we're not gonna move. We're not gonna push dirt today, boys. Mm. Wait, you wanna back up? Back up what you just said. What? I was teaching our employees here that. Yeah. The sun gear is missing. What revolves around the sun? The planets. The planet gears. We got three planet gears. Kevin asked where Uranus is. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is science class 101 today. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I was checking things over. Transmission that has no oil in it. Transmission filter is loose. So, uh, this was loose, wasn't it? This is when you need power tools. Power tools? Did you just take it loose with your hands? So, this is a suction screen filter down here, and they had one bolt missing. How much oil is in there? Somewhere they drained this thing. The plug is buggered up over there. No. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go through and play inspect the gadget and all these things. I also found a spring that looked like it come from there. I think we need a bigger pan. Got her, bub. Can you get the filter out? Well, it looks clean. What you got here? Normal stuff. Just a little bit of sealant stuff when it was assembled. No metal. That's good. Let that drain out. Yeah, is it not coming, Randy? We may need to um, get an air hose and blow back this hose. Yeah. We're gonna drain all this warm. Drain that back out. Yeah. Got your new fresh oil filter. Napa just arrived. Randy spent all morning washing the tank. We're gonna bring my service truck in here in a bit. And uh, he did a fabulous job. He did. He sat there for we appreciate Randy. three or four hours with the pressure washer just to get in it. So we're gonna bring my service truck in, flush it with a little bit of diesel. Um, this thing is still steaming hot. It actually like peed, peeled the uh, stickers off over there while he was uh, getting it. So it's got it looking a lot better inside there. We'll flush it out with a little bit of diesel first and then we'll fill her up. We got some new fuel filters here from Napa 2. We're going to take these off up here and see what they got going on. Yeah, have much horsepower, but everything else is yeah. the same. In fact, if I'd wait two weeks, I got, got an R. And I didn't know that at the time. I just, I didn't know. They said it's coming out the R, but it was another 4%, another $8,000. There's no o ring on here, boys and girls. There's no o ring on the fuel filter. There's it's no, there. there's no o ring up there. No o rings. Huh, Probably can't get much suction that way, you reckon? Huh. Well, this one don't look good. Oh, it's tight. Well, it looks like the hours could be right. Turn the key on and find out a little bit. Found the... Is that system one under this? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
Now they're 600 today. Mr. Kevin's putting fuel in it. We're getting serious. I uh, got some fuel filters. I'm going to make sure we got good, clean, fresh fuel coming up here first, and we'll put those on. And get ready to see if she'll crank. We got a little electric pump to prime the filters. Let's try. I think we got to put the filters on. Um, I'll take a three quarter and I'll crack this bleeder open. You can start this on your own transmission, can you? You can see if the fire. You see if the fire, but I mean, that's it. Oh, wait, not nap up. They're headed this way, are they? I don't know. Waiting on the one o'clock truck to show up. One o'clock truck? You got 15 minutes. Uh, I lied to you. How about oh, eight, one. 18 or something? I mean, I think that was a drain to him. Is this the bleeder? I hear it pumping. Um, did you take those plugs off the back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's got air in her. Oh, no, it's a cat. It won't start. Yeah. Be lucky if the injectors and stuff work on them. Mm -hmm. Hang on, until you go up in there. There's a cleaning. Headliner all looks good though. All right, I've never had the key on. How many hours do we got? Eight hundred twenty-two. Oh, that's annoying. Eight hundred twenty-two hours. Old pressure lights over here. Throttles over there. It should be in low. These have the push button rev up. Yeah, but I mean, still got the accelerator. You're not gonna rev it up anyway. You're gonna shut right back off. No, all. we don't have any transmission on. We're just gonna see if it fires. You watching over there? I guess we're getting ready to contact. Let me double check the engine oil. Why don't we get a little bit more engine oil? It's almost on the ad first. Yeah. Are we ready for contact, Dio? Yeah. See what happens? pressure thing going out when he's cranking it try it yeah lead a filter out what filter oh filters no yeah. they're bled out um may not be getting enough oil pressure open injectors Try it a little bit. She's she's gonna run or we get fuel to it. Yeah, you're not gonna need fuel in there. What's raining? It's raining soot. Oh. Soot. Try it again. Go ahead. 
can get key turned. What's the deal here? You shut it all the way back off and try over again? Yeah. Let me go through the cycle here. Gotta give it time to do its thing. Okay. Oh, that transmission thing's not on there. We better wait to get oil in yeah. anymore. Did you have a uh, explosion? Yeah. But it'll, it'll, it's all there. Yeah, it'll run if we can just get yeah, fuel to it. it's all there. Just got a fuel issue. Yep. All right, we got our transmission oil in, transmission filter. We didn't spill any oil, right? We're trying to crank on it. We didn't have a filter over and it may have puked some out. We won't tell. <laughs> All right, I couldn't get my cat computer to hook up to. I don't have the right dongle. Don't you call those dongles? You can tell I don't work on caterpillars. Anyway, I got another computer here. Been going through things. We are verifying the hours. We're reading 823 on there. Uh, everything jives out with those hours being original and correct. Um, we're going to try to find our injector pressures here and see if we can get something yeah desired injector actuation pressure is 1450 it says so we should be able to crank this over and see what we got going on you ready mm -hmm. she uh got pressure It's got enough it's got enough pressure oil pressure to open injectors so we know we got oil pressure to the injectors what we need to look at the injector pressure probably fuel pressure Not 18 psi on my transfer pressure. I wonder if we got an injector pressure. Again, I don't mess with these that much, so I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna keep playing with it here, and uh, we'll get something figured out one way or another. If not, we'll start throwing parts at it. So we know we got oil pressure going to the injectors to open them up. So, we may have a fuel delivery issue there. Hopefully, water or nothing got down in the fuel system, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's kind of what um, could be an issue right now. So, I'm going to try to find the injector pressure if we got it here. And uh, you just need that Dollar General. Is that DG Dollar General? Yeah. It's Dollar General. If you guys don't know, Auto. if you don't know what Dollar General is, like, around the midwest they're in every corner in every small town in america like how many i mean find a place with no town you'll think there's nothing around all of a sudden a dollar general pops up <laughs> it's crazy i don't know if you guys got them your parts of the country so every back road in the world and they just have drinks and canned goods and starting fluid starting fluid apparently a couple quarts of oil only place you can buy bananas and starting fluid in one place <laughs> all right we'll be back give me the give you the people so we're doing an injector solenoid test number one we've got a pretty good click right yeah we'll show them that i don't know if you guys can hear that or let them hear it are you ready yep that's it i'll do it again you're not clicking mm -hmm. yep okay we'll go to number two nothing nothing you said you heard something on number six a little yeah, bit yeah give me number six Here's number six. Faint. Very faint? Yep. Alright, so we've got number one working. Mm. Two, three, four, five, not clicking. So that's electric solenoid that's opening up the oil supply to send oil and air fuel. Mm. It tells me that we probably need to uh, no. take the valve cover off this piece. No. Ugh. We Whoa. should have clicks on all six cylinders, right? I just threw up in my mouth. You know that. 
That's real bit of Mozart. Mozart El Camino, I know you know that. That's right. So we have eight cylinders of fury then. So, wow. yeah. I guess we okay. probably should take the injectors out. All right. Boy, this day just got a lot worse. <laughs> Kevin says he's going to be sick tomorrow. What do I got here? A sensor on here? Oh, yeah. yeah. How's that? Can you see that? Yep. Let's see what I got here. Good thing everything sticks around here. Uh -oh. I got the air cleaner out of there, get things blowed out, and see if we can't uh, get the valve cover off and uh, go from there. Did I say I love kitty cats? Probably looks like there's all kinds of work. There's all kinds of room. Watch yourself. Marlboro bud. Probably have to pull the cab off to get the valve cover off. Gaskets leaving stand. It's with me. Uh, well, let's hold it right there. Watch oh, this. A little bit more. There you go. It's real dirty back here. What do you got? Dirt? Well, I get credit air diesel service a number. We'll see if we can yank. QR codes. They said something about draining oil on the back of the head, Bob. Bob, QR codes. That's injector trim file, Bob. Hmm. What's holding her down? 12 that points? Allen bolt. Allen bolts. Okay. I think. Yep. Well, how many micrometers do that? Not that big. You did not clip the second one, did you? I heard something clip them. I one. You did the middle one. Right? Do what? You did just this one, right? Yeah. Because this one right here is just laying on here. That's the way they are. Huh? I thought they had a clip or something. That's just sitting there. What's going on with it? I don't know. Let's look at it here. That's what I'm saying. Touch, what what it's the little backs see how this one's got a little what's going almost on almost like a little tab on it so it doesn't have a tab yeah but that's just sitting there yeah and this one right here oh this one 
That one's got a tab. That one's got a tab. No. All these have got hot, Kevin. That one's half broke off. It's melted. It's overheated. Mm -hmm. Son of a... We'll hold that on other than that. Now the solenoid got hot or the motor got hot? Huh? How low can it get hot? It's probably splashing in oil in it. I don't know. That's what happens. It's happened. It's got hot. Is that plug melting? Oh, that's like brutal. Oh. You guys can see what we're talking about. But not good. This plastic's where that one broke off. This motor's got hot or the... I don't know. This is what sucks about this stuff. You don't know what they've done or not or... That one's got hot and melted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I finished it off just a second ago trying to pull it up. Yeah, we should do a pressure test on the coolant system. Make sure nothing's going on there. It had a coat in there for overheat, but it was a few hours ago. This is always fun, people. Well, those ain't going to run all melted and not working like that. Mm -mm. I might call Kurt and see if he's ever seen that. Well, Mr. Kevin was, I was on the phone with Airy Diesel, Mr. Kurt over there. Kevin just looking around like he always does. <laughs> well, I saw this first and I wondered what this is all about. One of our little friends has been in here. Chewing on that wire. This gray one is chewed in two over here. And a couple more that look like they don't like this. Yes. This is the engine harness. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what that gray wire does. <laughs> but the uh, one's nicked off too. Yeah. Why did you decide to eat? Was that tasty? Is that you want to try some? Uh, I don't know. I know the coating on a lot of these used to be soy based. Yeah. Which is awful. Nice of them to do that. Well, the part and that's a harness that goes back on the machine, ain't it? May have to see if we can repair that. Mm -hmm. I think we need to do a pressure test on the coolant system. See if we're just completely wasting our time. Well, that could have shorted out and melted all that stuff too. Yeah, true. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. We're getting kind of long here and there's gonna be a bunch more to do. I never know what I'm getting myself into with these kind of things. So this looks like it may be something more major. So. I did order uh, some injectors, a new wiring harness. We're going to drop in the next video. Um, we got to fix some of those wiring issues and cross our fingers that it doesn't melt down another set of injectors. So um, who knows what's going on with it exactly. So the bad thing is you have to throw thousands of dollars worth of parts uh, just to see what's going on in the next step. So if you guys like this video, do a humongous favor for me. Go down below, hit that uh, thumbs up button. It helps me out tre tremendously. And if you want to make sure that you uh, don't miss out in the next video, uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So the next video coming out will be uh, part two on this dozer. So uh, I put videos out every Tuesdays and Fridays on YouTube. So in the meantime, guys, I do truly appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we will see you on the next one.